Hi everyone, today I thought I would go over um, a quick look at what is in my art journaling kit. So I use a medium black Delphonics pouch. Um, a lot of you are probably very familiar with these pouches. Um, they are a canvas pouch and this particular size, the medium, um, I really like it. I find that you can hold a lot of stuff in here. It's also a really good size for putting, you know, into your backpack or whatever bag that you're carrying. Um, and it's a really good size for traveling um, or even just going to a coffee shop or a park or wherever you might be doing some of your art. So, I don't tend to store mine um, or have mine sitting around in my office with um, all the pockets full and all of my supplies in all of these pockets, uh, mainly because um, I think it just looks messy. <laughs> um, it's just a personal preference. Um, but also I find that um, if I have everything in the pockets when it's in my bag or I've packed it for travel, that type of thing, or even just storing it in my bookcase, uh, things can fall out, get broken, um, that, it's just that sort of um, thing for me. So I like to have everything inside and then, you know, even if I am doing something in my um, office slash craft room, then, um, or outside, um, or I go to a coffee shop or whatever, I tend to then, when, once I get to wherever it is that I'm going to be doing some art, then I'll pull everything out from the inside and fill my pockets. So um, that's why you can't see heaps of different things displayed um, like you do in some other videos that you might have seen. So this, uh, it's also really sturdy, this canvas, and it's, it's really good quality. Uh, so I know that my items are well protected. Comes with these little loops on the sides here. And I have seen some people um, say that they've added like little straps on here to sort of carry it um, like a more like a crossbody, which you can do if that's um, your thing. So for me, um, I tend to just carry it as is and I have minimal decoration. Um, I have a black pom-pom on here um, and just a couple of little pins and magnets and my black cat um, moon phase pin and my moon magnet on the front there. Um, it has a really good zip on it. Um, I think these are the YKK zips. So um, they're really sturdy and reliable. Um, and like I said, you can really chock up the inside of this um, and the zip will hold and the material's really well sewn. So um, you can fit a lot in here. So on the front of these pouches, for people that aren't familiar with them, they do have quite a few pockets. So they have two big pockets here uh, that you can slide lots of, whoops, lots of things into. Um, so two big pockets along the front here and then these two slightly smaller pockets and they're all really nice and deep so they do all go to the bottom uh, and then these three pockets here that are more like um, paint um, brush or uh, pen little um, slips here so three of those and then on the back uh, another two pockets uh, that are really quite wide uh, and a velcro pocket so this pocket is that whole section there so it's quite deep um, just with a velcro opening I do store in this pocket this cloth so it's just like a kitchen cloth it comes in a big sheet uh, and I just cut it up into about four and carry that just in case I need a cloth for some reason so that usually slides into the back there Okay, so let's have a look what's on the inside. So the first item is my A5 Claire Fontaine uh, art journal. So it is a paint on one and I've just got a little ladybug sticker there. So this journal is pro probably more, it's getting a bit pricey. Um, I got mine on sale, so it was about a third of the price. 
This is usually roughly $60 diary, um, sorry, journal. Uh, and I still can't quite at this stage justify paying um, huge amounts for things whilst I respect the fact that, you know, the quality um, of the paper and, and that sort of thing. But I find that you can get really, really good journal supplies from other shops uh, as well as a lot of discount stores have really, really good range of art and journal supplies now um, that are quite often really good reputable brands. So um, that's where I tend to um, get a lot of my um, things from. But um, I did lash out and get this, but as I said, I got it on sale. So this is a fairly new journal so um, it doesn't really have a lot in it <clears throat> but I will open it up and give you a little bit of a look um, I often struggle I'm one of those people that struggle with what to put on the first sort of few pages of my um, journals and if you watch a lot of videos on um, YouTube there's some really good ones that give you some ideas of what to do um, one of the main reasons why I struggle is because the first couple of pages t tend to be stuck together a little bit more in the margin. So um, when you're turning your pages and going to use another one, especially the say the second and third page or whatever, um, you can't use the whole sort of thing, um, which I'll show you what I mean in a moment. So mine, I um, my first page, the inside of the cover is just a bit of doodling around my name. It's just some little doodles. Um, I tend to um, do a, quite a bit of that sort of thing. I've got a, another book where I practice like doodles and lettering and all of that sort of thing in there. Um, and it, it's really good in front of the TV or just as a little bit of a, a break over a coffee, sit there and do a few quick little things. Um, and then on this side is some of my uh, art supplies <clears throat> excuse me so this is my paint palette that I have inside my pouch um, so I drew that with the different colors and just some other little supplies that I might use in my journaling and my art so what I meant by the pages sort of being a bit more stuck together is I don't know if you can really see but this page it's got about one and a half centimeters here where it's still glued down to the next page so that's a little bit annoying um so yeah if you do some fun sort of pages to begin with then you know get away from that so then um this page i'm still working on it's just got some black and white grid washi tape down on it um, I'm a big fan of black and white sort of art so that's just something that I'm playing with at the moment uh, this one is just a urban sketching uh, just a, something that I was mucking around with the other day um, and then the only other thing in here is I'm just playing with some watercolors at the moment um, with some hot air balloon um, picture that I'm in the middle of doing so um, that's about all that's in my journal this particular journal and if I didn't mention, this is an A5 size and it fits in the Delphonics pouch really, really well. So then moving on to the other things that I have, um, I carry, depending on the day and where I'm going, I carry a few different water pots. This one, um, I bought this from just one of our discount stores. Uh, and it was like a dollar or two dollars and it came with uh, just a little paintbrush and uh, you just fill it up with water and it does seal it's got a screw top lid so you could carry this um, already with some water in it and pop it in there it fits in there really easily um, and it does have a lid that opens up so if you're using a standard paintbrush you can rest your paintbrush in there in the water or just dip it in there to clean it uh, and you can close that up so that I find is really helpful um, 
The other item, and this is especially if you're traveling a lot and you want to keep the bulk of your items down. Uh, I found this in Dezo. Um, we have a couple of their stores around um, and it is actually a little travel mug and that just folds down and it's quite small and it has this plastic <clears throat> cover so um, that's really good so if you've still got some moisture inside it sort of locks that in there and doesn't get anything else wet um, just for those few little drips and that that you might get but it's so flat that it takes up no room at all so I will um, use that at times as well okay so it has two big pockets at the back here and two exactly the same at the front so in this pocket here I carry some other uh, little water bottles um, actually first I do carry a pencil sharpener this one has a couple of different sizes carry that in case I need it and then these two bottles again I got these at the discount store so I think this one came in might have been a pack of two and it was like a dollar um, this I think was a pack of three and again it was a dollar uh, and this is a little spray bottle and so before I go anywhere um, unless it's like traveling overseas or something like that I wouldn't um, but if I was just going out from my home for the day um, I just fill them with water before I leave and this one's a little spray bottle so it's really good if you are wanting to say you're working with um, watercolors or something like that and you might want to wet your page down for some reason um, or after you've applied the watercolor and you just want some sort of different effect and that's really quite good uh, and then this one this one I carry more so that I can carry water um, if I'm taking this one with me, this one's not so important, although I might want um, just some more clean water. So this is already dirty in here, but I can pull this out and refresh this if there's no tap nearby. Um, but if I'm using this one, then I definitely need to carry this with me. Uh, and it's, again, just a little, it's got a little lid that you can just squeeze out water or unscrew the cap and just pour the water out so these are really really handy um, and like I said there are a couple of dollars for um, a couple of packs of those so then in the other back pocket here I have some paper towel which I use all the time and then my paint palette so this one is a JSART Byron uh, paint palette uh, and it comes with the little ring on the back that you can slide your finger into and hold it in your hand easily if you um, You know like to hold it that way or you can't put your paint palette down anywhere And then <clears throat> I just have my little card that shows the colors now this one is the nature collection uh, and it's got a really gorgeous set of um, 12 paints in there uh, and I find that generally I can get most colors that I want out of that now my paint palette is really quite clean uh, and it probably looks like I don't use it that much but I do uh, I just keep it really clean so if I've been out somewhere and I come home I tend to give it a bit of a clean down um, and then pack it away again so I like this one because it does come with another little water brush um, the other thing is like I said uh, having water in this I can fill up this um, water brush in here because when it's stored it's apart so I can't seal it add water in before I go so that's um, handy as well so that's my little paint palette okay then in these front pockets here have a few different items so this one here I have uh, in this tin a kneadable eraser always handy 
uh, a little clip which is good to um, hold things down this item here is really handy so I'll just show you it keeps my page open uh, these I tend to usually use for reading novels and those sorts of things so you might have seen them in those sorts of cases but they're really handy for journals um, as well so I do have in here somewhere another one so I carry these clips as well uh, often just a peg over the top keeps my page down or I might clip it on the side here really good for if it's windy um, or just if your pages don't lay all that flat so I tend to carry a few different types of those with me all right so in this pocket here I have a range of things I think okay so um, cotton tips I use them for all different sorts of things a snap lock bag generally have a couple of these in there so I'll have to um, restock one of the reasons I carry this is because if I am if I've used this and it's wet then I want something to put it into until I get home and I can dry it out that's why this size bag is um, snap lock bag is also really good because it fits it in I mean yeah you can fold this over again and put it into a smaller one um, the other reason why I carry these is for any rubbish so q-tips um, if I'm snacking on something like a muesli bar or a packet of chips put my rubbish in there um, if my pencil sharpener's full and I need to empty that, I can empty it into there. All different sorts of reasons. Uh, and then, you know, not only do I keep the environment clean wherever I am, but I also keep my pouch nice and clean and dry. Uh, and that's um, important as well. Then, this is actually baking paper. Sometimes I have glycine paper in here um, or there's a few different types. Um, the main reason I carry this uh, is so that um, I can put it in between the pages of my journal. So if I'd just done this watercolour and it was still wet um, and I needed to leave, then I could pop some of this down over the top, close up my journal and I know I'm not going to wreck the art that I've just done um, and I'm also not going to be getting it all over the other page sometimes with charcoal and different medium different you know things um, same thing applies um, and sometimes depending on what the artwork is that I've done I might keep a bit of this in there all the time when my journal is stored because it may be something that's just going to transfer over time or um I don't know so I just find that it's got all different sorts of uses for that anyway okay so um, as I said I don't tend to carry um, this around with this all full um, but the bits and pieces that are in the rest of what's in here is what I tend to grab out and fill my pockets with um, before I start doing whatever I'm doing so um, I have a Pentel uh, water brush in here. I think this is in the spine So I uh, carry that the one that's in my Watercolor kit is only a small one as well, but I think it's slightly bigger than this one so I uh, carry that and then if I want to take more um, Brushes with me. I do have some other sizes that I can throw in uh, I don't have any travel brushes that aren't the water pens uh, I have been looking into some of of those um, but I don't have any at this present time I carry an eraser this is a Tombow um, mono one eraser so this is my favorite eraser 
I've got their erasers in quite a few forms in this, this mono one, um, like in a pen form, uh, in a more rectangular form, and I absolutely love them. I think they are the best eraser I have ever used in my life. So um, these, this one I think I might have picked up at Dezo as well. I find that Dezo tend to stock quite a bit of Tombow stuff um, and sometimes also zebra uh, items like pens and uh, brush pens and things. So um, this one I think I picked up from there, although Spotlight, one of our local sort of crafty sort of stores they tend to carry some of these things um from time to time so yeah my one of my absolute favorite um items and then i have a couple of white pens so the uni posca uh pen this is uh 1.8 to 2.5 uh mil so i carry that as well as the Secura Jelly Roll in the 10, in the white. Okay, I might just grab all of these out and then go through them. So, the Blackwing pencil in the matte is my go-to pencil for sketching sometimes i will carry um a couple of other like maybe a mechanical pencil um a tombow mechanical pencil or um maybe some charcoal pencils um but this is kind of the my go-to one for sketching then i have a tombow in the n55 so it's like a grey colour, uh, a Stabilo 0.88 in the fine, 0 0.4 in black. This is probably my favourite for if I'm sketching straight uh, with a fine liner rather than a pencil. So I like that one. And then I have two... Of the Tombow Fudinowski brush pens uh, the soft and the hard I carry in here so again these I get online at um, a few different stationary places however um, Dezo if you're in Australia Dezo tend to have these on their shelves all the time for a couple of dollars then into more of the fine liners uh, well, this is a brush but in the uni pin fine uh, pen range so this is as i said in the brush and it's sepia so i love using lots of um, sepia in my stuff and then the secura pigma micron pens in the sepia i have a a 01 and a 05 in those and the last pens that i have in here are the uni pins and they are i have them in a 0 0.05 in a 0 0.1 and a 0 0.2 and they're all in black so that's it for my standard things that I carry um, to do like watercoloring and sketching. So I'll just move these things away uh, and then I'll show you the few extra things that I will often pop in there depending on what I'm doing. So as I said, I don't have them with me, but I, if I want colored pencils for some reason um, or other colored markers i'll throw them in on the day uh, or charcoal pencils but i do tend to carry um, if i want to do some collage type things then i will carry uh, my tombow uh, permanent adhesive i will carry and actually this is usually in there all the time just a glue stick of some sort 
I do prefer um, these vanishing purple uh, scholar glue sticks uh, but for size sometimes just these ones these ones I got from Officeworks so Officeworks is a stationary supplier here in Australia so um, you can get a pack of these little glue sticks for a couple of dollars um, but I do like the um, it goes on purple but dries clear so I do like that one depending on what else I'm doing um, I will have um, generally I carry scissors so just little you know these little travel scissors of some description I've got quite a few different types um, but I like these because they're very compact some tweezers um, I always have my Samsung Galaxy Buds with me uh, so I can tune out when I'm doing things it's great for a coffee shop sort of situation I generally carry a ruler this is a Rayme ruler and I can't remember the exact name of it but it actually has grids on it it's great for journaling um, I have a couple of them um, but because it's got the grids on it it can be quite good sometimes for some sort of art depending on what you're doing let's see I will sometimes put washi in so whatever washi I feel like at the time that I might want to use in there and then a bone folder which is good for uh, different things I also carry uh, a stamp block an acrylic stamp block as well as uh, these little uh, circle dome acrylic blocks for stamping a stamp pad this one is um, best fine clear fallen leaves which is one of my favorite colors so I will pop that in as well as whatever stamps I'm wanting to use at the time these ones I love for my journals but I also really like them for um, my art journal as well but I do use these light in like travelers notebooks and that I have about 13 of these little sets and they come they are the MU lifestyle uh, stamps sets so they come in all different uh, little things and so and because they're quite small they're easy to pop in the little pockets of the um, my pouch and not take up much room so I'll often pop some of those in and last couple of things and again if if I find that I can't fit this all in my Delphonics pouch which I can fit most of it uh, I will often grab another pouch so this is a bit small but it's good for um, some of the next things so that they don't get ruined but I might grab another pouch just to throw some extra things in like if I want to take paper so that it doesn't um, get crushed in there or it might be bigger and I don't want to fold it so sometimes I'll grab one of these or a clear some other sort of clear pouch and I will pop things in like uh, labels uh, some stickers you know different flower stickers things like that as well as a variety of um, ephemera and uh, different paper so in this little pile here um, is just some that I was getting ready to put in in case I wanted to do some collaging the next time that I pop out so I've got some just some little paper doilies there some different recycled um, paper this is really gorgeous uh, all these colors and you can see like the the textures of these so I'll pop in a variety of that some brown cardstock just plain brown cardstock some book page uh, coffee dyed paper of different things uh, this is like more like a parchment sort of paper um, the other thing that I will sometimes pop in is um, a dabber for inking edges 
or um, I will just use my stamp pad on the, the edges or a cotton tip but yeah and then just some random sort of bits of ephemera and some pretty paper and I'll pop them into like a pouch as I said and um, then I've got some bits and pieces to collage with and then lastly I tend to carry either some bits of ribbon or twine this is some hemp uh, cord and so I will get some of these snip off little bits um, of these and a few other things like I said like ribbon and that and wind them around like a little bit of cardboard or onto a washi card um, and pop that in so that I've got like just a little range of little bits that I might want to uh, use on projects in my journal um, same as washi if I want to take um, a few different sorts or I'm stuck for space then I'll get some of these and pop them onto some little washi cards so I've just got like little thin business card size um, cards in there that don't take up much space so I think that's about it uh, with that oh and the, lastly sorry the other thing is sometimes this is quite a big item but I can manage to make it fit it's um the Tim Holtz tiny attacher so depending on what I'm doing I might want to take that with me uh, just to attach some things in uh, paper clips uh, yeah a few little bits and pieces like that sort of getting into a bit bigger of a um, a really big kit uh, maybe I can, should consider getting a large gel phonics pouch um, but in general I can fit most of what I want into that pouch or like I said grab another slimline sort of pouch to pop a few extra bits and pieces into but yeah that's basically what's in my art journal kit so I hope you've enjoyed that and you've got maybe a few ideas um yeah let me know in the comments the things that you carry in your art journal kit uh anything that you think might you know be a bit fun to use or uh, what's an absolute necessity for you when you're out and about uh and let me know so thanks everybody have a great day bye